What's up gang man, welcome back to another video man. As you can see, we've already been uh, routing out rings, uh, getting them ready because we're about to start assembling the console. Um, and we're actually making a few rings today because we need to have all the rings ready uh, so we can start um, mounting them, getting them ready because then after that you already know it comes fleecing. And then after that you already know fiberglass time. Before we go any further, man, you already know what time it is, man. It is shout out time. And real quick, man, we are on the road to 3K subscribers, man, which is like out this world. If you are simply watching this video or watch any videos, man, just pause it, hit that subscribe, turn that notification bell on to stay tuned to every single video that keeps dropping from this channel, man. Because if you like car audio, um, cars, dunks, drop trucks, all that stuff, man, you are at the right channel, man, because we got a combination of everything, man. And I try to stay, you know, my foot in every culture uh, in these car culture communities uh, so I can bring you guys the best content because uh, some of you guys probably don't like drop trucks but after you watch all these videos man you like drop trucks same thing with the dunks the racing and all that stuff man so stay tuned subscribe and you know beware this weekend I'll actually be attending dunk day man if you guys have been keeping up man with the top five dunks man they come out of Florida man where we're at see what I'm saying so your boys gonna be out there at dunk day getting you guys the best footage so you guys can sit back relax eat some popcorn and enjoy them videos man but for right now let's get into these comments first shout out goes to base candy man he commented love your build i appreciate it big dog this is my homeboy's truck that i'm working on um this is a console for him i'm just a fabricator man but you know i do what is due on here for this console man next shout out goes to jeff lewis he commented wish you were in richmond virginia fam keep up the good work man i appreciate it big dog uh man my plan one day is to hopefully travel and be able to go to shows that are near some of the subscribers man so i can interact with you guys personally man because you guys are what makes this channel and i at least somewhat you know got to make an effort to try to you know somewhat uh see you guys communicate with you guys that's why i sit here and i conversate with you on the comments or if you guys dm me on my instagram mouse trap um underscore gang uh that is the youtube channel uh, uh instagram or my regular um instagram which is mouse uh x trap you know what i'm saying so if you guys want to follow me on there man do so but man you know you can always find me here on youtube shout out goes to handy slapping if i said it right big dog i hope so he commented looking good man i appreciate it and today man we're actually going to give it a little bit more cosmetic look so you guys can get a better feeling of what this console is going to look like man so shout thanks everybody that shouts out always drop them comments you guys will get some shout outs man so now let's get back to the video okay so i actually already routed out some uh rings for the mids and highs and next what we're going to have to do is we're going to make a router ring for the EQ because everything's going to get fiberglass and it needs to sit in there pretty because we are going to be vinyling it and everything is to fit smoothly correctly so we give them the best product that we can possibly give them here at the Mousetrap Gang. So we made um, the inner parts of the console as you can see. Uh, I cut the holes out already. Um, and they actually, you know, are pretty straight because I did a little trick on the on the table saw how to cut them, and I really didn't want to put that on camera because I didn't want to go viral because sometimes that can be dangerous, and I didn't want to be talking to you guys like this with my hand messed up. But you know, we got it cut out. They're stapled in there. They're ready to rock and roll. Um, and the reason of the cutouts is because once we start putting rings, um, the magnets uh, they'll just sit right in there, and we don't have to cut stuff out. Once uh, everything's fiberglass and everything, and it makes life so much easier for us. So we actually did cut the profile down on the console just to give it a little bit more better, uh, you know, look. And it worked out for the best. And right now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys um, just a quick ring layout of what's gonna go on with um, the console so you guys can get a better, you know, vision of what's going on. So this guy is gonna go definitely like right here. So the Thames is gonna go right there. Uh, an 8 inch is going to go right here and they're just going in place just so you guys can get an idea that that's not the angles that they're going to get and another 10 is going to go right here and then another 8 is going to go up here but this 8 is actually going to have a little like kick you see what I'm saying so it'll have a bubble effect put this guy down Okay, so there you guys have it, man. So that's what's gonna be the layout. So this tent is gonna go driver's side, uh, that one driver's side, and then this one's gonna have a kick towards the windshield, and this one's gonna have a kick towards the windshield uh, roof area. I'm gonna put the EQ in here as well too. 
You see what I'm saying? Um, that's going to look pretty cool uh, once it's all assembled and everything. Now, we do have tweeters that we are going to put on here, which are these guys right here. But once I actually start putting rings down, then I'm going to figure out where the tweeters are actually going to go. Uh, because we still have to put those guys in there because the tweeters will wakes everything up. But at the end of the day, I think the tweeters, we'll just probably put them like right here. You see what I'm saying? We'll, we'll do something cool with them. But so that's the overall layout, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I really like the layout. It's coming out good. Um, we did cut a big of the profile down. It was more pointed up. That would have gave us a little bit more play for the speakers. But, you know, we can work with what we got right now because after we cut everything down, we got rings cut out, everything. Now we can figure out exactly where stuff's going to go so everything, you know, gets um, adjusted according to plan. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Now, let's go ahead and put the EQ, set it in there. Like I said, it's not going to fit in there snug. You see what I'm saying? But once the thickness of the vinyl is in there, it's going to definitely, you know, be set in there in place. Because we just sliced it and just slide EQ in it, and it's going to have the perfect gap that we need. Uh, real good. Okay, now this ring, we're going to actually router it out now. And now we have our lip that when we can uh, put our fleece on, we have somewhere to staple on. It's good. Not bad for like a five minute ring. And look, you see, like it's going to go somewhere like right there and it fits pretty good. Um, and I think we can almost even get away with putting like a half inch or a quarter inch piece on each side and just slide it right through the middle. But that, that's what it's looking like, guys. What you guys think of the console so far? You think it's going to look good? So we are going to wrap it in a like a cherry maroon uh, vinyl. And the idea is not to make drastic angles so uh, we can be able to wrap her up uh, pretty good. You see what I'm saying? Because the last thing that you want is to give yourself drastic angles so it is nearly impossible to wrap. But once again, that's why we went ahead and did it in pieces. So it's wrappable here in house. You see what I'm saying? So it's, it's gonna be a challenge. But then again, not a challenge, man, because there ain't nothing that we can't do here at the Mousetrap House, man. You see what I'm saying? Just like that, we have one good solid platform that we can build off of anything that we're doing, man, because that thing is not gonna fall apart for number one. And number two, our structure on where we're going to be mounting rings at we have plenty of places where we can hook from and that's what we want so um next step look it is coming down guys so real quick before it actually starts raining i am just going to cut a lot of strips out um to get that ready tomorrow so i can just use my chop saw uh, for height and in my grinder so i can angle stuff out because we are going to be doing the rings tomorrow as well getting it ready and then we're going to go ahead and fleece her and get it ready so we can just fiberglass first thing uh, Thursday morning, let it sit and dry for like a full day. There's plenty of sticks right here that we can use. And like I said, this is going to be our stands, which can actually give us the height of our speakers when we do the rings. Um, and like you always see, we hot glue them down. 
but we're gonna cut them and then we're gonna like angle them out uh, so every speaker's every speaker's gonna have a different pitch on and I just wanted to go ahead and finish the video so um, you guys can enjoy it today because I if you guys don't know I do record and same day I drop you see what I'm saying so that's pretty much it for today it's fixed to start raining I'm gonna go inside and edit this video um, you've seen that we cut out our rings we routed them out uh, we put the console together we braced the console um, we got cutouts for the console ready so uh, speakers can just go right in um, we cut the ring out for the EQ um, and then tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and just chop stop and place all the rings intact and hopefully if that goes smoothly and kind of fastly we will fleece it and we will get it ready so we can fiberglass Thursday morning and let that thing sit and dry all the way straight and then Saturday I can just go ahead and sander and I'm gonna go get vinyl and then maybe on Sunday I can wrap it and then Monday morning man we can go ahead and start loading that guy in and get it inside that OBS truck so my boy can be talking man so um, I appreciate every single one of you guys watching the videos drop in comments man because we will give them shout outs uh, man last video did pretty good I like it you know even if we get two three hundred 400 views man that's still a win to me guys so i appreciate every single one of you guys watching the videos but you know stay tuned we still got plenty of bills to go and i will catch you guys tomorrow man peace